Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at Bog Oak. A couple of days ago, I uploaded a video featuring this beautiful instrument, uh, which is an OMC by the British luthier Jamie Swannell. I've had a lot of people getting in touch asking to know more about this wood, so here is a quick beginner's guide. First of all, bog oak is not a particular species of oak. It is in fact any oak that has been found in and subsequently salvaged from uh, a bog. If you think about it, a bog is pretty much the uh, perfect environment for preserving organic matter. And uh, across Europe, all sorts of amazing things have been found in bogs. Uh, trees, animals, and even people. What fascinates me is the fact that, in some cases, the piece of wood used in a bog oak guitar could be thousands of years old. Bog oak gets its colour from the peat and, and mud in which it was preserved. So you'll see all sorts of different colour variations and uh, some beautiful markings and striations as the, the wood absorbs the mineral content around it. It's worth bearing in mind that this is a natural, organic material on the cusp of fossilization, and throughout that process the wood has differing characteristics. So you might find some bog oak that is still quite pliant and waterlogged wood, of course, uh, being a hygrokinetic material. Uh, in that state you might find it's more prone to movement. Uh, other examples uh, may have absorbed more minerals and become more vitreous, harder, and perhaps more suitable uh, for the back and sides of an acoustic guitar. It's fair to say that given geographical constraints, I think 100% of the guitars that I've played that have used this wood have come from Europe. And luthiers such as Rosie Heidenrich of Turnstone Guitars, Rory Dowling of Taron Guitars, and of course now uh, Jamie Swannell of Swannell Guitars have been using this wood to great effect. From the player's point of view, well, so much depends on the luthier themselves and how they're handling the material. And I have a congenital terror of uh, sweeping generalizations when it comes to wood. However, I have noticed that uh, a lot of the bog oak instruments that I've played, especially the more uh, vitreous glassy ones, tend to have a really immediate uh, shiny quality to the front end of the note that I found very pleasing. One thing that you may have noticed is that there are a lot of different names uh, for this wood. I think people may have struggled to bring it to market uh, just by calling it bog oak, and therefore I've heard all sorts of different things. Royal Fenland. Haunted. Sinker. Black. It's all the same stuff. Right, that's enough from me on Bog Oak. If you found this video interesting, entertaining, or informative, please do subscribe to support my channel. Drop me a like, and if you've played a Bog Oak guitar, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay tuned.